Now, next up is Nokia. Now, who, what else is going on out there in terms of you know leveraging AI capabilities? And Nokia recently un unveiled a range of AI-powered solutions to augment its AirScale baseband portfolio. Now, these solutions will support mobile networks with AI and with the goal of enabling them to effectively match the exponential traffic growth and establish a sustainable network infrastructure that can offer, again, better capacity and performance for all. Now, uh, from your view, Clint, what do you see that is attention grabbing about Nokia's recent move? Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at this story, Ron. I mean, what I really found intriguing is uh, is uh, Nokia's new the fact that uh, Nokia's newly introduced product suite here um, includes two 5G advanced baseband capacity cards, namely uh, Levante and Lotos, and those are powered by the latest Reef Shark SoC technology. Now, Levante, which is a 4G 5G uh, capacity card is designed to enable substantially larger site configurations than what was possible before. And reportedly it can reduce the power consumption also by about 60%. And that's you know, that's pretty impressive. I and mean, we've, we've been you know, sort of on the hunt uh, for a number of years now for ways of, of reducing uh, power consumption of network operations. And that, that's been, that is a, as you probably know, and, and, and much of the audience probably knows, that is one of the top OPEX items for any network operator. So that's a substantial move. Um, so we talked about the first one now, Lotus is also a 4G and 5G capacity card, and it provides, uh, also provides some higher scalability and it can deliver around 30% lower power consumption. So that's uh, that's pretty impressive as well. Um, plus, uh, I, you know, saw that Nokia unveiled a new network management and optimization solution called Manta Ray. Uh, and Manta Ray is designed to use AI and machine learning capabilities to facilitate cognitive uh, radio access network or RAN operations. Uh, this Manta Ray portfolio solution supports Nokia's future platform for purpose-built RAN, uh, cloud RAN, and core network management. And with those AI and cognitive capabilities, uh, it, it seems that this solution really sets the stage for advancing 5G standalone, as well as some of the 5G advanced implementation. You had mentioned some of those connection points before, Ron. Uh, now, Nokia also launched a ultra performance baseband control card, uh, Ponente, uh, if I'm saying that right, uh, which is uh, capable- Sounds good to me. <laughs> I, I, I've just seen it in writing, so sometimes you don't know, but, uh, uh, anyway, it's, a, it's an interesting, uh, interesting name in any case, but but unique. Um, but that's that's capable of delivering high-speed site connectivity with up to uh, with uh, throughput rates that are up to 100% higher. And now the solution is equipped with trusted platform module technology, and uh, like the other offerings, it also enables a migration to a 5G standalone architecture and 5G advanced technologies, and it can significantly lower power assumption, power consumption again by around 80%, which of course is a huge contributor to environmental sustainability as well as the bottom line of the operators through that OPEX reduction as we were talking about before. Yeah, those are all excellent points, Clint. And I see Nokia strengthening its radio portfolio for both Cloud RAN and ORAN by also introducing its Pandian multiband remote uh, radio heads. And in parallel with that, Nokia also launched Shikra, which I hopefully I'm pronouncing correctly. Uh, <laughs> and these are <laughs> compact uh, micro remote uh, radio heads. Uh, and they are basically designed for delivering greater capacity and coverage in street level environments where space is limited. And certainly uh, when you think of urban densely populated uh, locations, this is where this technology can uh, make a key difference. And we all know that 5G is being deployed in these environments, certainly uh, already, uh, but when it comes to 5G standalone, it will intensify all the more. Mm -hmm. So taken all together, uh, what we reviewed, the Nokia solutions I anticipate are not only ORAN and Cloud RAN compatible, but I see it assisting with the integration of the latest advancements in 5G that we touched on, certainly uh, when it comes to the transition to 5G standalone, but also in terms of laying the groundwork for 5G advanced, uh, which is you know around the corner in terms of uh, you know already the development work that is going on. 
And so with this announcement, I believe uh, Nokia boosts its R&D credentials across the entire 5G ecosystem and is you know, taking uh, AI to at least the next level within the 5G realm. And this is certainly uh, you know, a common theme that uh, we're seeing this summer. And so this is a way for you know, Nokia to basically shine a spotlight on its uh, AI credentials.